Good evening, folks. Welcome once again. I am Warpath Extreme, back with another video. And today, I'm, just like I promised y'all that tonight I would bring to y'all my very first Warpath rant. And today's Warpath rant is... Drum roll, please. Spending too much money. Yes. You know, people people like to spend so much money on groceries and all that. Sure, they like to spend money, all right. For food and for bills and all that to make a living. But sometimes they spend too much money on other things, such as expensive TVs and expensive video games and all that. I, mean, I guess this is definitely the reason why things like YouTube is born, or, or the internet, or even video game ever drives for retro consoles. Of course, some people are trying to save up money, and that's what they need to do. They, they're trying to save up money to find a place to live, like I'm trying to do. But there's still a lot of people that are spending too much money on, on, on things that they want to spend instead of just spending on food and, and bills and what they need for a living, like clothes. I mean, what is wrong with this world? I mean, why can't we just make, why can't we make a living? Why is there not a lot of people trying to make a living these days? They spent too much money on, on a very rare action figure. A one small object like that. For example... If a figure like this cost about like two hundred dollars, maybe a hundred or more, I would spend that much money on that. Would I? Oh no, I'm, I hope you don't either. Well, this one I only got with Demolition Axe as a WWF Hasbro figure. But no, I would not. You would not want to spend two hundred dollars on an action figure on a toy that's loose out of package. You do not want to even spend two, three hundred dollars on a Betamax player. A lot of people can't even afford those things, and those things are rare. You could hardly spend. You could hardly afford that stuff if you spend too much. If you have the money, but and spend on on a Betamax player that even works, you wouldn't be able to have the money for any bills or or food. Or nothing. You, you could end up bankrupt or something. I mean, dang. That's, that's very mind-blowing. Why do people have to spend too much money on drugs and alcohol? This is, this is not right. I mean, come on, people. Y'all need to stop using money for alcohol and drugs. This is not the way the life is supposed to be. There are, there's even certain DVD sets you can't even afford and that and you would you would not have enough money for enough food in your face to feed your face. Like the complete series of like MASH or Full House or Family Matters, The Cosby Show. I don't mean the Cosby. Sorry, sorry about that. I sorry about saying the Cosby Show. I don't mean that to say it. Why would I say the Cosby Show if Bill Cosby is a convicted sex offender in the slammer in the prison cell? That's a different story. And other, even any, anywho, why would you uh, spend? so much money on a complete set of other shows, such like the Ninja Turtles, or 
Magic School Bus, or the real Ghostbusters, or even a the James Bond mo movie set, a complete set of James Bond movies. That's a lot of money. How can you spend over a hundred dollars on a DVD set this this large? Come on, people. You don't want to spend hundred over a hundred dollars on a D James Bond movie set, would you? That's crazy. That's just too much money. It's ridiculous. Especially according to my mother. You know? A lot of things are just too much money and people have the audacity to spend on that particular thing. What is wrong with these people? Even if, even if it's an extremely rare VHS tape, that cost over $100. I wouldn't spend that much money on that, would you? Well, I hope not. Because darn, too much money spending can really blow my mind, blow your mind, blow anybody's mind. I mean, darn, it just blows my mind. $100 on a a WWF Survivor Series 1997, that's a lot of money for a VHS tape release. Sure, a lot of people don't use VHS a lot no more, but there still are some that still do, including myself. Most VHSs don't cost that much money online. Some that are rare usually do cost a steep amount of money. But not as much as an extremely rare VHS tape by high demand. Who wants to pay $100 online for something that's on high demand? I mean, even if, a, even if it is a Super Nintendo game or a Sega Genesis game, a lot of great rich Sega Genesis, Nintendo and Super Nintendo, all that stuff has been going up, 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 up into the sky. Even Nintendo 64 has had games that are worth too much money. Like Super Mario 64 and Super Smash Brothers, Conker's Bad Fur Day, the only rated M game by Rareware. That was started in Nintendo, an extremely rare Nintendo mascot that would be later be purchased, that, that would later move to Microsoft. Or is it? I don't know. I really don't know. Why would you spend two hundred, a hundred dollars, or more, or two somewhere a hundred or a two hundred dollar buy on a SNES game like Earthbound? Why would you want to spend two hundred fifty dollars on a remake of Final Fight on Super Nintendo called Final Fight Guy? Sure, it was meant to be a limited blockbuster rental exclusive, but darn, that's a money. That's a lot of money unless you buy a reproduction cart. Then, that, then you would pay way less than all that. Even if you're paying like $179 on Mega Man 7, Mega Man X2 and X3. Oh boy. If you, if you bought those, you would not have enough money for a place to live. You need the money for a place to live. Many families are low, but many family, fam so many families, including my family, ha have extremely low budgets. Come on, people. Why don't you respect that? Ooh. Anything else, like a stereo or a TV, you may want to wait till Christmas. Or your birthday, if you want to have a stereo or a CD, a stereo or a new HD TV, or even an Xbox One or PS4, I wouldn't worry about those. I would worry about money for food, money for a place to live, something important stuff like that. Okay. End of story. Man, I gotta calm down now. That's enough of my gripes. 
Well, anyway, that that concludes my first Warpath rant. The first one being on spending too much money. There you go. What do you think is too much money for you to spend? Let me know in the comments section below what you think. Also, don't forget to follow me on Facebook. Uh, don't for, also, don't forget to follow me on Daily Motion as well for my WrestleNick account. Also, don't forget to like or dislike the video. Subscribe if you haven't already. Turn on notifications and leave a comment down below. So until then, tune in next time for my latest Warpath rant that will be coming up in the next couple of days. So that will be coming up this Friday. So until then, this is Warpath Extreme saying thanks for watch thanks for watching my Warpath rant and good freaking night.